so hi guys so let's have a little chat i wanted to talk about how i study specifically and my new favorite resource so term four at sgu involves pathology pharmacology and microbiology so i'm not sure how other med schools organize their subjects but I do know that at the end of the day, every single med school learns the exact same things and we all take the exact same step exam. So with that being said, Sketchy Medical is amazing. I absolutely loved it. I'm obsessed and I now use it as my sole resource. So I just want to preface this video by saying that everyone is different and everyone likes different things everyone responds better to different things and what works for me might not work for you or it might not be the way that you want to study but i am telling you that this resource is amazing there's nothing else out there like that that i have found personally to be so helpful with memorization it's hard to spread your time out between different resources I stuck to sketchy and that is now the only thing that I use and I did well in term four I mean it was one of my best terms and I think that sketchy has something to do with it in the way that I remember things I still remember the anti-cancer drugs that I did six months ago and I think that this is the best way to learn for long term which is ideally what you want because you don't want to go to the step exam and not remember what you have learned so i'm going to go more in depth about how i use it and how i study it and i want to show you guys the actual website kind of review it for you guys before you buy it and see if you like it if you want to buy sketchy there is a promo code under my name so ally 15 to get 15 percent off and i highly recommend it again um you can use the promo code and save a little bit of money it is an investment but it is going to help you in the long run okay so when you buy sketchy medical you will log in you will see this dashboard so um, this is the study portion of sketchy so you'll have three different uh, courses you'll have micro farm and path so i just want to show you the micro one first so you click on the micro and they are all organized in different categories so you have the bacteria fungi virus all those kind of things so if you click on the bacteria one, for example, there are also subcategorized even further. So you have gram-positive cocci, gram-positive bacilli, and you have um, gram-negatives and so on. And they're basically every organism that is high yield, every organism in general is on here and they all have a video. So it's super helpful. They also have parasites, which I know are the death of a lot of people. I hate parasites specifically. I know a lot of people do because it is super hard to remember all the crazy names and all of their modes of transmission and their effective um, forms and all of that kind of stuff. So Sketchy actually has videos for those, which I find super helpful to remember all of the parasites. Um, I also like that the videos are short. So if you can see, they're like four to six minutes. Um, a lot of the Sketchy micro videos are kind of short, which makes it easy to get them done in a good amount of time. I want to show you one of my favorites, which is the strep pyogenes. Strep pyogenes here is illustrated by the Pie Genies Bakery. So there's a lot of puns in Sketchy and it makes it very fun. If you click on the video and you click play, you will see here that they have all of these different timestamps. You can um, scroll over the timestamp and it'll basically tell you what they're talking about in that specific time. And if you're you know, unsure of a certain area, you can fast forward to it and click over it or you can rewind and watch it again. So here you have the pi, the pyogenes, and it's encapsulated. Here's a beta hemolytic sign. And trust me, I remember this all the time. This gets me so many questions, right? If you could just remember that little light bulb, that's a symbol for beta hemolysis. Um, so then it talks about the different things that strep can cause. So as we know, strep can cause a lot of things like strep throat. So here you have the little necktie that's going to represent strep throat. And almost all of the sketchy videos, if you see that, you know that you're dealing with a strep bacteria. Um, there's other things that strep can cause, as we all know. It can cause rashes. Um, it can cause necrotizing fasciitis, which is represented by the burnt little gingerbread man here. 
Um, it can also cause toxic th shock syndrome, which is illustrated by the cape that has a little shock on it, um, which I think is very cool. So if you fast forward, it also talks about the treatments for all these micro um, bacterias. So here you have the pencil, which represents penicillin in every sketch. So honestly, we are learning antimicrobials right now and I can tell you that I remember how to treat certain bacteria just from watching these micro videos uh, last term. Every time you see a pencil you know that it's penicillin that's used to treat it. So I think it's kind of cool how they incorporate the treatments in here as well and another thing is that they include the virulence factors. So virulence factors are super tested on in micro and they're super important to know. So here you'll see that they have streptolysin O. The ASO titers are super important for strep because it can cause rheumatic fever. Also there's DNA, which is a virulence factor, which are by these DNA-shaped donuts. If you scroll down, you can see that they have the full picture of the video and they have what the symbols mean. So you can click on them and see what they represent. So let's move on to Sketchy Farm. I just want to show you guys a little bit of this. So Sketchy Farm is super helpful because as you guys know, there are a lot of drugs to memorize and it is not easy. So here, for example, is the list of drugs that we have to know for term five. So all of these drugs, um, we will be expected to know in six weeks, basically the names of them, how they work, their mechanism of action, their uh, adverse effects, pharmacokinetics, all of this stuff. And it is super hard to do. The names of these drugs are crazy. I don't know who came up with them. Sometimes I wonder why people name them the way they do, but you have to know them. And they are very, very important. If you click on a section, like the cardiovascular uh, drugs, for example, they're organized even further. So you have heart failure drugs, diuretics, your blood pressure meds, um, and then one of my favorites I want to show you guys is the antiarrhythmics. Highly, highly recommend these. So as you guys know, um, there are five classes of antiarrhythmics and it is not just enough to know the five classes. You actually have to know that class one has A through C as well. Okay, so I just want to show you guys this example specifically, um, class one, because I really liked this video. It, they have arranged it into three different sections, so three different levels in this building. So the first floor would be A, second B, C, as you can see. And each um, room has different, uh, the drugs labeled in them with different symbols that are used to help you remember. And as you can see on the side, they actually have the, these hearts that are lit up, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it kind of represents to you how they're used. So for example, class 1A drugs are used to treat supraventricular and ventricular arrhythmias. Class B, since it's only the bottom of the heart that's lit up, is used to treat ventricular arrhythmias only. Those are the kind of things that they can show you in here. I highly, highly recommend watching that. So lastly, I want to show you the newest section of Sketchy, which is Sketchy Path. So a lot of people don't use Sketchy Path. It is, it is fairly new. Um, as you can see, I use it a lot, so you can see there's um, 14 out of 14 being watched even for the cardiac section because I have watched all of these and um, they are very helpful. So they're organized as well into the different modules that you'll be learning. So here's my advice when it comes to pathology. So pathology is a huge portion of the exam, a huge portion of the step exam, and it encompasses a lot of different things. Basically because it brings together all of what medicine is and what can go wrong with a certain system. And there are a lot of resources out there to study pathology. So what I recommend is finding a resource that works for you and sticking to it. I really love Sketchy. So I do have to say one thing about Sketchy Path is that the videos are quite a bit longer than um, the Sketchy Micro in Sketchy Farm, so they are gonna be like 20 to 30 minutes. So when you watch a video, you're gonna have to really dedicate that allotted time slot to watching that video. One thing particularly I would suggest for PATH, if you don't wanna watch all of the videos, um, one thing that I really do like is the way that they illustrate the tumors. Um, for example, the ovarian cancer here and breast cancer, breast cancer is huge. Um, I find those videos the most helpful. Another one of my favorites is the myeloid and lymphoid section. 
So I think this is one of the toughest sections when it comes to pathology from what I've heard and from my own experience. I mean, you have acute myeloid leukemia, chronic myeloid leukemia, lymphoblastic, acute and chronic, and you also have non-Hodgkin's and Hodgkin's, which can get very, very confusing. So Hodgkin's has a really cute sketch. Um, they actually base it off of Harry Potter, which I think is really cool. They have the owl's eyes, the Reed Sternberg cells, um, Hodgwig. So it's kind of cute how they, they tie in all of these things. They have different themes for different videos, so it kind of makes it more exciting. Um, I highly recommend that video specifically. But lastly, I want to talk about is the quizzes. So some of you may have some videos, but if you don't buy Sketchy, then you don't have access to these really helpful quizzes. So these are kind of new to Sketchy. Say we watch the antiarrhythmics that I showed you earlier and you want to test yourself on it. So you go down to the actual videos that you watched, you click the boxes, and then you go over to the question mark and there's a max of 40 questions. So you put in the number that is available for that video. You turn the tutor on and you start the quiz. So here are the quizzes and here's an example of a question and you enter it and once you enter it, it will obviously give you the answer and it'll give you all the explanations and even explanations for the wrong answer choices. And also what is really cool is that it brings up the sketch and it highlights and blinks at the um, specific area and symbol which reveals the answer. I think it's super helpful and it's a great way to make sure that you're actually learning the material and that you're getting it right. So that is it with showing you guys what Sketchy is like. I kind of wanted to review it for you guys before you go and buy it um, and show you what it's like to have it and have the videos. So um, if you guys don't think that I use Sketchy, I mean, just look at all of the things that I have already done with Sketchy. What I actually do is I screenshot the sketches. After I've watched the video, I print them out and I put them on a note card. And when I look at my lecture notes, I look back at these sketches and I actually take notes on some of them. These are all of my printed out sketches from last term alone. I've watched all of these and I have taken notes on them and I'll show you guys like some of them I write notes on. It is important to go back and look at your notes and make sure that you're getting all that information and just use this to supplement because it is a great memory tool. Well, that is all for the Sketchy review and they have kindly offered to sponsor this video. If you want to buy Sketchy, there is a promo code under my name, so Ally15 to get 15% off. You can use the promo code and save a little bit of money and also i am going to be giving away two free sketchy subscriptions for three months so if you comment below your favorite sketchy video i will pick two winners to receive the free sketchy so i hope you guys like the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in another video very soon bye Cause I'm safe from my soul.